Hello, how are we today? So, I have a real thing for the past few days, a bit sad, about onion soup, French onion soup. And um, I love it, I haven't had it for ages. And I just thought today I would show you how to make a super quick French onion soup. So, okay, I've got my big giant soup pot. I'm on the way to the gym, so I'm going to make this and then put it in and leave it. If you leave something, sorry, I'm waving the knife around. If you leave something, sometimes the flavours intensify, which is amazing. So, very quickly, I've literally got some butter in the pan. Sorry, the, it's really sunny outside. I need to do something about the lights, don't matter. And I'm going to chuck in, this is, as usual, one of my WTF, so what's in the fridge. Or actually, what's in the, in the veggie bowl, I suppose today. Um, so it's literally going to be some garlic, because it's French, three onions, and some stock, and a little bit, I think, if I have, of some lean parents. So super, super simple. I'm going to squidge up my garlic. I'm going to put the garlic in before all the butter melts, because it's better to go in in a cold-ish pan as opposed to something that's already bubbling and sizzling and whatever, okay? You better to stick your garlic in like that so it doesn't burn. You don't want to burn your garlic. So you get that in, butter's just starting to melt. You put that in, stick. I've put in four, I think, because it's French and it's lovely and it's gorge. I love garlic anyway. And they're quite, they're quite small actually, these ones. So, because they're small, I'm going to put this on a teeny weeny, teeny weeny one. Okay, so let's get that in. Okay, I'm just going to turn this down because it's heating up quickly. Okay, stick it all in. La 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 la. Give it a little stir. Right, let's just turn that down. These pots, I've got these, you know, the cruising pots, and they heat up so quickly. Well, sorry, that's wrong. Once they do heat up, it really sticks. Right, I'm also going to put a bit of ginger, actually. I forgot about that. Ginger, one of the things about French onion soup is that it is really, really, as long as, you're, as long as your body can deal with onions and garlic and ginger, and not everybody's can, so that's the first thing to say. But if you can, all of those three things are really amazing for your digestion. They are brilliant <coughs> prebiotics. So probiotics, here's your little bit of science. Probiotics is the good gut bacteria, okay? Prebiotics are the foods that feed the good bacteria. So the prebiotics feed the probiotics. Onions, ginger, garlic, all brilliant, okay? So, really, really good for your system. It's not only, it's not only tasty, but it's really, really good for your system. And with the onions, what I like about French onion soup is there's no fat, there's no fuss. You literally take the skin off and you slice it and you tuck it in. That suits my psyche right down to the ground. So, I'll probably start crying, I always cry anyway with onions. So let's just get this off. Just turned 
going nice and low. Right, okay, on to the next one. DVD. To be fair, I probably could have used a bigger knife, couldn't I? But see, they're in the dishwasher getting more. Oh, my eyes are going now. Right, if your eyes go, especially watch your fingers. Okay, right, that's number two. stock so I've made this we've had a roast chicken at some point that's been in the freezer then I took it out last night put it in the fridge so that is really good brilliant probiotics in there that are gonna go in there or you can buy you can buy packet ones if you're busy it's absolutely fine to be honest I'm gonna use both because there's only there's not too much of that one see if you can get an organic one that will always help okay so they're literally going to go in I'm gonna get my Salt and pepper. I'm going to get my Worcester. Worcester, where is it? It's here. So this is, I know it doesn't look like lean pounds. It's because it's not. <laughs> it's a gluten-free one, but it's still Worcester sauce. Okay, ducks. So let's see how our onions are doing. So I'm going to leave those for about five minutes or so, okay? And then I'm going to come back and show you adding the omelets. All right, see you in a minute. Right, so we are back with our onion too. <laughs> um, I probably left that. I'm not quite sure how long, maybe about 20 minutes. You'll, you'll, you'll see when we see the time on the clock. Um, but basically I ended up making hummus and making a video out of that instead. But what is good is that it, the, the onions have gone really nice. One thing that I did add in, this is coconut sugar, okay? I added one teaspoon. Now, coconut sugar is still sugar, but it's better and it's less processed and whatever. And I added that in just so that the onions, hang on, just so that the onions and the garlic would caramelise a little bit. So this is what it looks like now. Can you see that? Okay, so it's starting to go, it smells lovely, it's starting to go a little bit more coloured. And then we're literally just going to add in some Himalayan pink salt, no sea salt please, lots of plastics in the seas, lots of pepper. No, I don't get very much out of this thing, so. Okay, lots of pepper. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> they were from when I was making my hummus. Um, I'm going to add in the stocks. I'm actually, as I said, I'm going to put two in. This one is a 300ml pack. Ah. A oh, disaster, haven't I? My goodness. You probably want about 500ml, so a litre, depending on how many onions you've got in there. So remember, I've got, I've got three onions in there. You might want to make a bigger pot. So, and I might actually add water, I'll tell you as we go, but that smells amazing. And the thing for me, you can add in, oh, what do people add into any soup? What kind of brandy or white wine or stuff like that? Obviously, I'm not going to do that. I'm trying to make a healthier version. So I'm going to add in a lean pose. Oh, and again, I'm going to do it to taste. I'm going to put one tablespoon in just now. Oh, that smells nice. And I'm going to leave that. Actually, 
a little bit small more to the side. Okay, Let's put some more water in. There we go. There. Now, looks a little bit like a pot sludge, but it smells amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna put that back on the cookie cooker. I'm literally just gonna let it simmer. Okay, so I'll just let it come up to a bit more of a boil just because I've put the stock and stuff in. And um, and then I'm gonna lower it down and then I'm, I'm literally gonna leave it for a good few hours just so I'll probably simmer it for about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna switch it off and leave it. So it's not gonna be on a heat for most of the afternoon just to let all those flavors infuse. Who are those chefs that used to do that? Anyway, it's all going to infuse and I'm going to see you later today what it tastes like. If it tastes crap, I'll tell you, don't you worry. Okay, see you in a minute. Hello, it's me again. So, I was going to leave my onion soup all afternoon, I was going to go to the gym, I was going to do blah, 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 blah. Anyhow, I got hungry and it is so nice. So, I'm not waiting to finish this video later. I'm finishing it now because I'm going to sit and eat some. So, there we have it there. I've got my bowl ready. <clears throat> Honestly, if there was smell of vision amazing. So, go make your onion soup. I might have some oat bread with it and um, I will see you next time. Bye!